I am Larry Swallow. And I am Andy Carvelis. And we are here to celebrate the release of Six Bullets, Bullets to, to Hell. Hell. Yeah, baby. This uh, Six Bullets to Hell game is it's definitely like a throwback to the nostalgic, you know, kind of 80s games of like, you know, like I'm an 80s kid, you know. Uh, so I hope people kind of kind of get that. It is Mike Tyson's Punch Out meets Duck Hunt. What was the first video game console you owned, or it did you? The very first Nintendo. Who didn't? Yes, <laughs> NES, baby. Yeah, of course. I owned the original Nintendo, so Mario Brothers original was my game. NES for me. Sega. Uh, I had an Atari. Dude, I started with Atari. I played Sonic. I loved okay. Sonic. I missed Sonic. That's I actually had a crash on Sonic. Is that weird? Oh, NES. Oh, yeah. Atari or Nintendo? Yeah. My brother had an Atari, so I played that and I say Nintendo. His hair was so cool, and he had awesome skills. Mad skills. He could roll like a mother. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation. My first one would be a PlayStation 2. I think the first system that I owned, like we owned it as a family, it was a Nintendo 64. It was a hand-me-down for my brother, an old school Nintendo. We played Goldeneye a lot. Yeah. Nintendo. I gotta go with, uh... PlayStation. No, Super Nintendo. Everything changed once I got the Super Nintendo. And then every time you got a ring, it was so, uh... The, the sound like bling, 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 bling. It took me slashing my foot open and getting ten stitches as a get well gift. They got me the second. That was that was. If I'd known it would take that, I might have done it earlier. There was a game called um, Jumpman. I don't know if you remember Jumpman. No, I didn't play it, but I know it. I've, I've seen video. Dude, get on that. What is your favorite video game of all time, other than Six Bullets from Hell, obviously? Can I say two? Yeah, yeah, of course. My favorite NES game. Uh, was Mario Brothers 3 uh -huh. uh, and Ninja Turtles. I got too many. I was beating at Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. the, 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 the NES one? Yeah. That's like the hardest it NES so, game. So Do you have a favorite all-time video game? Dance Dance Revolution. I don't really dance like other than just hopping around anyways, so it's great when there's actually lights on the floor that just tell me where to go. Uh, my favorite video game is probably Super Contra. Or Castlevania on the Super Nintendo. I gotta go with Contra. Call of Duty. A B A B up down A B down A B down A B B. Other than Six Bullets to Hell is number one. Castlevania. F Zero X is up there. Oh yeah. I'm a big F Zero fan. That and Contra and uh, Marvel Madness. Yeah. <laughs> that was a genius game. It's been hours on that. Oh I mean, God, you're making it so hard. We don't have time. Probably Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart but and Pokemon Pinball. Oh, so that wasn't a hard question at all. I, the hard part is thinking just one. I'm right now, I have to get between Twilight Princess and the second version of Bioshock, so Bioshock 2. Sonic the Hedgehog definitely brings back some memories or Mortal Kombat. You know, oh, yeah. I was at the age where you weren't like really, a lot of kids weren't allowed to play and you'd have to sneak it. And the one that was like the most impactful or was the craziest one to me yeah. was Resident yeah. Evil on PlayStation 1. I would just, I would play it and I'd be terrified. Street Fighter. Oh, Street yeah. Fighter and Super Sonic the Hedgehog. I keep hearing that. It's the best. Oh, I had yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, yes. That was like my favorite thing ever. I had That's Grand Theft Auto 1, then I had San Andreas. So those are my type of games. I always find these like games that nobody else uh, he's nostalgic for like burger time. You yeah. don't know, you know burger time. You like fast and dangerous. Yeah, I like fast and dangerous. I like uh, the killing and the stealing the cars and the making uh, the money. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be Star Fox and or Mario Kart. 64 Mario, Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64. Definitely the too. best. Man. Yeah, it's one of the best. That the weird Japanese Mario Brothers 2, Never. where like Luigi kicks his legs. Yeah, and you know, hovers. Like Peach can the fly. princess. Yeah, those are good ones. And don't they dig? They dig up those vegetables and throw <laughs> them at so. people. Yes, yes, you do dig vegetables <laughs> and throw them at people. You can get up on like block four and just like rain those red turtle shells down. That red shell's my my baby. <laughs> I hang on to that thing until I need to use it. Then I had Need for Speed. Uh, which is really funny because my uh, fiance the game. So I played it not knowing, and then years later, 
Yeah, yeah. that's a little surreal. Yeah, 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 pretty crazy. My favorite game was Toe Jam and Earl on Sega, because <laughs> I beat it the first time I played it, so I was like, oh, gamer for life. Last question. Uh, since you played old school Nintendo, you undoubtedly had your own method for getting those cartridges to work when they're acting up. Can, yeah. can you share that with us, yeah. for the fans? You gotta put it in, you gotta go up and down, and up and down, you turn it off. You know, of course you're gonna hit reset a couple times, but reset never works. There's lots of ways to get your Nintendo cartridges to work. One was double stacking them, so you got one in there, and it's the game you're playing, and you stuff shove another right on top of it. You gotta put that blow on it. Just a little slow, simple blow and fan. And you put it in, you're gonna do it like at least twice. <laughs> and then you, sh you shove it in, if that doesn't work, it's a couple blows, and then sometimes I blow some heat in there too. A lot of people do it wrong. They go from left to right, but you gotta go from right to left and blow everything out, like blow the, the, dirt, the dirt out, not blow it back into the cartridge. First I blow on it, and then I hit it on my hand a little bit, uh -huh. and then I shake it, and then I blow on it some more. <laughs> so it's blow, hit, shake, blow. Exactly. After a while, you might get those like little like cleaner things uh -huh. and get like a cleaning kit, but I don't know if those ever really did anything. My cousin would always, he thought you had to go up and down, so he'd no, like, no, no, do no. the spring thing hey, a couple he got of it all wrong. He got it all wrong, man. A lot of times I just kick it, and it would work. So, you know, it's different, different styles. A couple blows, a little bit of heat, a little bit of moisture, plug that in. You're good. Awesome, now we know. It usually works. Just move.